Seriously, I don't know how this works anymore. Can I just talk, talk, talk about nothing at all and just continue to talk while I have nothing to say? That's so lame. <music> Yeah, so um, what's new? How have you been? How has this new year started out for you? I mean, it's already April. The spring is starting, we have a little bit of sunshine and I have way too much light on me. I'm probably totally all exposed. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, but why is my background different? First question you probably have after, <clears throat> hey Karen, where the hell have you been? I'm now upstairs in the den, which is attached to the bedroom. It used to be my husband's office. He retired at the end of January and uh, he didn't want me in the living room anymore. And although I really, really loved my beautiful background, the fireplace, I couldn't sit there doing work from eight to five every day. It was kind of like a point where he said, you need to move. You need to give me my living space back because I'm retired now. I, I need the living room for myself. I'm kind of in the center of the house still, like I was downstairs, but and not cordoned off in a room. It's it's still a work in progress. I haven't really done everything I want to with it. Ikea, you know, Ikea. <sighs> okay, so let's get back to where the hell have you been? I have not felt like I wanted to produce anything in a long time. I had to take down the ISO because it's way too bright. Excuse, excuse, excuse my unprofessionalism. I have to get back into the swing of things. It's renovation. My husband's retiring, moving into a new space. Um, and then most of, the, most of all, wanting to be creative above and beyond the creativity that I'm using every day at work. Being the person that has to come up with ideas and designs, I am creatively invested all day long and then wanting to create more in my spare time sometimes you're just depleted but I felt it was time I was ready yesterday I got my ring light out I got my camera set up I charged my microphones and I said I'm ready man I'm, I'm ready to to talk to the people on the internet and tell them where I've been and what happened I have decided I really want to make a point of trying to film at least one video a week, at least one video, one... <laughs> I want to film at least one video a week. Once a week. To just chit chat with you guys and talk about what's new and, and YouTube is kind of weird because I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about political things at all on here. Am I allowed to do that? I even Do you even care? Let's talk about just because that's something that I still boggles my mind. I, I am filming this right now on my Fuji X100V that you may or may not know I bought in March of 2020, just like three years ago, just, bef just shortly before the pandemic hell broke loose. So for a little while, I didn't really use it much. And then I started filming with it as well because I had another camera, but this one just has all these film simulations in it. I'm filming this with a Turner right now, I believe. Classic Chrome, sorry, that's my favorite. Classic Chrome. Mm, I'm not doing any fiddling with uh, F-logs and things like that. Mm. So I'm reading these blogs and, and apparently, this camera has been sold out for months. And I'm like, what? Everybody wants one and they can't even manufacture enough that like, what's going on? People are selling their Leicas to buy this camera, the one that I'm filming this video with. I stopped and restarted that video probably 15 times already because I'm rusty. There's something inside me that says I want to create. And then there's the other part of me that says, why bother? What for? Who's listening? Who's out there? I shouldn't really base 
my need to be creative on the fact if somebody sees me being creative or not. How can I explain that? Being creative should not depend on how well received your art is. It should depend on the fact that it makes you happy when you, when you are creative. And I think I am happy when I'm creating something. Now I'm producing a video. It's not just sitting here and talking to you. It's also about filming it, cutting it. Cutting is, is it's a lot of work because especially somebody like me who doesn't have a script just goes talking and you have to talk so much and I cut three quarters of it out and throw it away and delete it and then put it back together so it kind of makes sense in a way. It is an outlet in a way that I was missing. So this is why I brought my ring light back out and I charged my microphone because although I hadn't done it in so long, I was kind of missing it. Now I have to find reasons to film more. The first reason is gone now. I explained to you what happened to me, where I was, why I'm here, why well, this is different, and why I'm going to continue. Now I need to find a new reason what my next video is going to be about. And I do want to talk to you about current affairs. I really, I really do. And so if that's something you would enjoy as well, let me know. Or even if you want me to shut up completely, let me know that too. You, you never know. I mean, I may be talking to a bunch of 14-year-olds right now that don't know me. And I just appeared on their stream and they're like, who is this old woman? Who invented these talking head videos anyway? Who came up with that? What am I talking about? Just, I don't know. Talk about the weather. That's me. Completely unprepared. The only reason I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to say hi, I'm still alive. And that video could have been 10 seconds long. But then that's not me. This is what's happening. And this is how it's going to continue. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this to the bitter end. And uh, yeah, I hope you're doing well and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye.